Now I'd like to tie for you the classic wet fly, the alder. The hook I have in the vise is a standard wet fly nymph hook. It is a size 14. We're going to start off, I have fine copper wire. And I'm going to wrap copper wire around the shank. I'm going to leave a couple inches, two, two inches hanging off the back. I'm going to wrap this and I'm using this for weight. We just want to help it get through the water. And we can wrap that all the way up to the eye. And just wiggle it and it'll come off. And we're going to leave this part hanging off the back. The thread I'm using is black. We're going to attach that thread behind the eye. And take it to the back. Cover all this up. Doesn't have to be a perfect job. We don't have to worry about any fibers coming through. We're going to remove the excess. The body is peacock hurl. Wet flies, smaller wet flies are good for using up your peacock hurl. These are only about four inches long. These are the small pieces that came out of my strung peacock hurl. Yeah, I got like five of them here. Going to tie them on. I'm going to leave them the length of the body, the tag ends, and I'm going to tie them all it down. And I'm going to go over them a couple times. And bring that thread back to the front area. And we want to leave the thread one to one and a half eye lengths from the eye of the hook. Now we're going to take everything, the peacock curl and the wire. I'm going to wrap that wire around there a couple of times. This is just going to help protect the peacock curl. We're going to wrap that up to the eye. You want to keep get this on there pretty heavy. Try to keep them together. There we go. Bring it up there and tie that off. This is a really simple fly. Good trout fly. You can use this for panfish. Pull them back and wrap a few wraps in front of it. And I'm going to cut the peacock curl and I'm going to break off the wire. I don't want to ruin my scissors. Just grab this with my hackle pliers and break that off. The hackle is going to be a black hackle and this is a soft one. I can actually bring my thread back just a little bit more. Trim off just a little bit more of that hackle. And tie that in. And we're going to wrap this hackle right there. Nice soft hackle. And 
Don't need a lot. Two is plenty. I'm going to fold it back. Wrap in front of it and I just broke it off. That's fine. I'm going to hold them back and wrap them down. Kind of hard to hold them back, so I'm going to take my bodkin and I'm going to put a double half hitch in there and I'm going to push those couple of hackle fibers back. There we go. We got one stubborn one there. For the wing, we're going to use turkey tail, and I folded it over, so I actually have a double turkey tail here. And we want that wing to extend just past the barber to hook. Pull it straight down, and you see that turkey in the in the front lift up. You know it's on there on top. I'm going to remove the excess. And tie that down the rest of the way. Wrap the head. Keep getting these wild ones going forward. whip finisher put a bit of head cement on it you can actually see double a double wing there Straighten that out. Here we have the classic wet fly, the alder. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.